I think the pure essence of BSV is trying to help build a transparent, enterprise-ready blockchain ecosystem that allows people to adopt and build upon it. How many transactions can the world's digital infrastructure handle in one second? Well, for one Swiss-based nonprofit organization, the answer is a million, and possibly even more. CoinGeek recently caught up with the leaders of BSV Association, whose Terranode software is taking blockchain capability to an entirely different level. How are things going with Terranode? Presumably you're very excited with where it's at, but how has that journey been maybe since, uh, you know, getting it from, hey, we're working on this to, hey, we're basically delivered here. We definitely is worth celebrating. It's, it's a promise along in the making. I remember Siggy, before I joined BSVA, they essentially started the whiteboard session with a very small team starting from scratch. What is it that a Bitcoin node needs to do, right? And it, to see that come to fruition, to actually have it mined first blocks already that up to three gig in size, the Terra testnet, and that's also an invite to anyone watching. If I can run a Terra testnet, anyone can run a Terra testnet. <laughs> because I, I spent yeah. the weekend to run a node and it's they, the guys have built it so that it's really, really almost a one click installation. And it's super cool. It's it's a beginning. Love it. Who, who should be running it? I, I get a lot of people that ask, oh, cool, Terranode's out. Can I run it? Can I do something with it? Short answer, Terranode is for whoever needs to validate transactions, right? We just want full nodes running on the network, essentially. I think what, what we're looking for is people helping us create a little bit of chaos. Yeah. That, that's exactly what we want. People, you know, play with it, try to break it, you know, help us have, have fix the harden it and fix some of the issues that are there. So, no, I don't actually don't know about the downloads, but there is there is interest and there's it, it's starting. It's getting started. So we tried very hard to keep that agnostic. So yeah. Terranet doesn't really mind. It, it, it can run on a Raspberry Pi. It, it runs on my laptop all the time. We can run it in Docker in uh, in AWS or in OVH. We, we can run it in Kubernetes. But I think the most important thing is you need to run it where you feel comfortable. Sure. What are you used to? But for the typical dev, he shouldn't care, actually. You don't look in at the engine, you just drive the car, right? Yeah. And it works and it drives. You don't know if it's a V6 or a V8 or in Terranode's case of Formula One, <laughs> V24, right? Yeah. So the dev should care about the, and that's what Dagen is doing, the distributed applications, right? Yeah, no, that, Dagen, referring to this guy, the distributed applications lead of BSV Association. Where should somebody go if they're a uh, you know, capable full stack dev, they want to bring their idea to the blockchain, it has some kind of monetary incentive system or a, you know, a blockchain for identity or something. Yeah. Where, where should they start? Bending like me, impatient, but quick to pick up, up new yeah. tech. You should go to fast.brc.dev, hence, hence the name. Yeah. Um, because you'll just get the snippets and you, you'll click a few buttons and watch it happening. Cool. And that's usually how I learn. If you're more meticulous than me and you like to understand how the entire thing works, I would actually start at hub.bsvblockchain.org. Our education team has been working on, you know, a curated list of here are the steps you should probably take. This is how you get BSV from an exchange. Yeah. This is uh, the source code and the demo app for this particular type of application. You know, they've curated a beautiful sort of introduction to any full stack dev that will be able to get onboarded by those documents. Very cool. Of course, developing the tech is just half the battle. There's also the matter of educating people and ultimately encouraging mass adoption. You're also very open to talking to folks that are involved with different technologies, different chains, because there's a big common goal here for several reasons, but one of them is regulation. So what efforts are you making to help push regulation globally? Uh, in the EU, we're very active in a group called Blockchain for Europe, uh, where we work alongside people you would considered to be our competitors because we actually have a lot in common. We have a lot of common interests. Uh, the first one being the adoption of blockchain technology and regulation that goes in favor of, of adoption, which favors all of us, whether it's for BSV blockchain, Ethereum, Solana, you have it. What about uh, sending a message that interoperability between all of these different blockchains is uh the way that we're moving forward and how you're going to participate in that. Very much so. Um, we, we won't always agree with our competitors on how blockchain search to scale, how they should be structured, what the architecture should be. But I think the one place we can agree on is the more interoperability we drive in between blockchains, the more mutual benefit we'll derive 
uh, whether it's uh, for us or for our competitors. Overall, I think the message is actually going out to the right audiences. And for example, in this event over here, uh, there's been like a panel with um, Asagir as well, talking about some of the stuff that we've been doing with one of our partners in the Netherlands around tax. And honestly, the use cases out there are like really good ones, which are credible, that are actually helping people. And not only on a private way, but also on a public uh, manner as well. Every day, we're inching toward the dream of a worldwide digital economy, but there's a long way to go. Still, progress is progress, and BSV Association says there's a lot more things to look forward to. What are you looking forward to in the next 12 to 18 months? Basically everything. <laughs> so this year we've said we've planted the seeds, so the Terranodes ready, distributed application stack is getting there. We're getting a lot of positive momentum through our partnerships with blockchain associations, with governments, with universities. So it's like this positive spiral, but just this momentum driving us up. I'm just super excited about everything to come.